children now this is seventh class social studies what is that lesson name euro fifth lesson what is this euro fifth lesson so in the previous class i said about european countries what is the climate conditions of european countries especially england germany france spain italy norway sweden finland denmark Netherlands. Netherland means Holland. So these are all European countries. Okay, I said about seasons: summer season, winter season, rainy season, autumn season. Okay, etc. Seasons also. That means spring season, etc. Now here, discovery of sea routes. Actually, I said in the previous class two main winds which are prevailing. over the direction of west and also southeast directions what are the two winds westerlies that is the first type of wind second one is trade winds so these two winds are very important winds to european countries okay next one discovery of sea routes so here actually from europe to america continent this is the far how much kilometers 1000 kilometers far away from europe to asia continent how they will reach from europe to asia continent here they are reaching they have two routes are there okay so first one they are building fish uh, ships why they are building ships at initial stage they are <coughs> building the ships for catching the fish actually i said for european countries fishing industry is important okay so why they are catching the fish not only for fishing they started to use these ships for trade okay trade means from the from european countries to other countries of other continents okay so here uh, they are trade they are using these ships for trade so for what cloth silk gems ivory spices okay so for these all they are trading from one country to another country through overseas okay in this procedure they are earning gold and silver coins on those days okay so next one mainly they have two types of routes okay two types of routes first one they had to cross mediterranean sea after they entered into iran and afghanistan that means they entered to asia continent countries after they reach india china etc countries okay so that is this is one of the route next route is they had to cross red sea after red sea they had to cross arabian sea which is back of our india that means west of our india so after crossing this arabian sea they reach in our country india so when they reached our country after <coughs> our country they reached china so what are the asian countries actually these asian countries have abundant natural wealth okay next atmo atmosphere also very suitable atmosphere for <coughs> growing crops growing uh, rearing animals etc so that is why these european countries need raw material and food okay food grains for example i said what are the food grains of our india so we have two seasons kharif season ravi season another season is jayat season in this kharif season we will grow paddy crop in ravi season we will grow wheat so i said in european countries what is the chief crop of europeans so wheat is 
very cheap crop of European countries. Not only wheat, but also they are cultivating or raising some kinds of citrus fruits, RNG, grapes, olive, okay. So these kinds of fruits also they are growing in the European countries. Now here, these are the two main routes of Europeans to cross or to reach our Asian continent countries from Europe continent. Next to, <coughs> but here what happened? These Mediterranean Sea, after Mediterranean Sea, when they reach the land, Iran, Afghanistan, and through Red Sea, so these all area occupied by, by Arabs, that means Muslims. Okay, so European countries are almost Christians, these people are Muslims. So that is why these Muslims halted the land which are passing through this route and this route. Okay, so that means when the Arabs halted the route of Europeans, they thought how to discover the another route to Asia continent countries. So in this way, they are trying to reach our country through sea route. Through sea route. Here, 500 years ago, okay, from Italy, that means the Italian explorer Columbus, Christopher Columbus, he set his journey with three ships. After three months, he crossed the westward of Atlantic Ocean. Okay, why he believed if the earth is round this, so he will reach India through westward through Atlantic Ocean, west direction through Atlantic Ocean. So in this way, after three months, he reached one land. So when he found this land, he believed this is India. But when he went into the new land, he discovered and he realized this is not India. This is separate land. So after Columbus, next to the European sailors, so actually they also believed Columbus reached land is not India. So that is why they entered into the deep land and they realized that land is separate continent that means South Africa and North Af uh, South Africa and North America. So between South America and North Africa some islands are there. So Columbus first time he reached some islands between South America and North America. They are West Indies. What they are? West Indies. After the Europeans came through this way and reached North America, South America. Finally, they also settled in North America, South America. Before Europeans, already some people are living, but they looted that people, they killed that people, they settled. Okay, so that is happening after discovery the sea route by Columbus. Even Vasco da Gama, he discovered the sea route of our India. He reached Calicut and he entered in our country India. So that is happening. So how these Europeans reached through Atlantic Ocean to West Indies after North America, South America. How Vasco da Gama reached our India through Atlantic Ocean, through Pacific Ocean, through Arabian Sea, finally reached our country. So these two winds are helping to these European traders or sailors. What are the two winds here? Westerlies, one of the wind. Second one is, wind is trade winds. What are that? Trade winds. So these trade winds are helping to the European sailors to reach almost all lands of the world, that means countries in the world. So that is <coughs> trade winds. They are blowing from south to west to, and also north to east side of the globe in Atlantic Ocean, etc. Next one, through these winds they reach Africa continent and also 
Asia continent. What are the Asia continent countries? Here, important country is our country India. After China, next to they reach to Indonesia. Okay, etc. Countries. So while they reach these countries, they plundered the African countries and Asian countries. Actually, our Asian countries crops are growing. Some kinds of crops, valuable crops are growing. Spices are growing. Cotton is growing. So they are taking the raw material, okay, and food material, some kinds of spices, etc. So when they take this one to their homelands, when they sell these goods, they earn a lot of profit. Next one is industrial revolution started. So the industrial revolution started in Europe. When he started 1750 in England. So in England they invented many machines. They started industries. With that industries they started producing goods. Okay. So when they producing goods, a lot of goods are producing by industries by the workers. Okay. So in this way they need raw material. Where the raw material available? Asian countries and African countries. So they are taking the raw material from Asian countries and African countries. After finishing this good again, the finished product will sell to Asian countries and African countries. So in this way they are getting huge profits. Who here? England people. England means European countries people. So that is happening. Next one for industrial construction they need some kinds of minerals for example coal is available abundantly in england and germany transportation also developed in england that means european countries because that land is very suitable for transport water transport rail transport etc road transportation etc okay for agriculture purpose so so i said about agriculture so here food grains and also raw material is important which is taken by european countries from asian countries and african countries okay children now this is the main lesson of your <coughs> class so this is european uh, european uh, europe continent so first to here i want to show you another map now turn your pages in your textbooks page number 50 one now children here look at so this is equator we know this is equator these are the continents so here in our in our lesson this is european continent europe continent so in europe continent i said what are the countries portugal spain france italy mediterranean sea this is mediterranean sea children look this is mediterranean sea this is a red sea i said already in the lesson red sea so this is arabian sea west of our india arabian sea okay afghanistan etc russia etc so now children here two winds i said for example in index route of columbus what is the route of columbus so columbus belongs to italy so italian explorer so he started journey from here so he came this direction through atlantic ocean when he is coming so he reached the new lands he believed this is india but he found this is not india these are west indies okay west indies after he returned to reach his european country through this way through atlantic ocean before this one their route is to so here they had to cross mediterranean sea and red sea after they crossed the arabian sea and reached our india this is another route this is another route mediterranean sea iran iraq etc and they reached india okay so when they halted these arab people they started their journey through atlantic ocean vasco da gama going and reaching like this christopher columbus going and reaching like this this one okay so here route of columbus trade winds old land route of to india i said this one so here 
these westerlies and trade winds are helpful to discover new routes of european countries to asia africa okay north america south america countries after they reached uh, indonesia so they found this one also they found this one also now children this is your lesson so here trade winds and westerlies are very important winds to reach the lands okay children thank you